Hey everybody, my name is Lina and I'm here with Apetech STEM Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning another forever loop. Now we've been using the forever loop and I want to explain to you guys how it actually works. Let's go get started with that and like always don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. For today's example we're going to be building a game where we have a star that is actually dancing. The first thing I want to do is go find my star. So under here, you're going to be able to change your sprite. I'm going to type in here star. There we go. This is my star and I want to get rid of this sprite here. So if you click on it, there's a little trash can here that says to delete. So I'm just going to delete it. And another thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and change my my stage so click on your stage area over here on this side go to your backdrops and choose anything you want now i'm going to go ahead and look for the galaxy there we go now let's go back to our code area so right now as you can see we're in the code for the background so i want to change to my star so let's go ahead and click on that star Okay, so let's get started with the code pull what we always need, our flag here. Then what I want to do is pull our forever block, which is under controls. What I want to do in this case, I want to use two repeat loops. And we cover those in another video. So let's go ahead and find a repeat. One and two. And inside of those, what I'll be doing is I'm going to go ahead and change the size of my sprite by one and have it rotate to the right on one of them and then on the other one I want to do the opposite I want it to rotate the other way and I want it to go ahead and change the size to negative one and I'll explain to you right now what exactly this does. Now I want to put all of this in the forever loop. And that forever loop is going to be connected to our flag. Now another crucial thing that I want to do is set my sprite to its normal size when the program starts. And there you go. Okay, so let's go over this program. What we want to look at this is this kind of here is just your initiation. So when the flag is clicked, I want the sprite to be 100%. I want it to be at that size that it currently is at. And forever, I want that sprite to do something in, that is inside the forever loop. Forever means for infinity. It's never going to stop unless it is physically stopped by the user. So unless you click on the stop sign up here or close your browser, this will never stop. And the way it works is it's going to repeat these two repeat loops, which I'm going to set them to 500. It's going to increase the size of the star and rotate it to the right as it's increasing. And then when this is done, this repeat loop is going to come to the second repeat loop and decrease the size of the loop and make it rotate to the left. So let's show you how that works. So as you can see, it's increasing by one. Now you can make it increase by more bigger number if you want to see it grow faster. And once it finishes with the 500, which goes really, really fast, it's going to start rotating to the left and it's decreasing on size. As you can see now, it's rotating to the left and going smaller and smaller and smaller. And this is our dancing star. Now a dancing star needs to dance to music. Now let's go ahead and stop this it's never going to stop unless we stop it and let's go to our stage in our stage area make sure you're in your stage area go ahead and pull the flag go ahead and put the forever loop and then we're going to go to sounds and we're going to go to this tab that says sounds and we're going to change our song i want a song that shows some movement for the star and you can hover over them 
to kind of hear what they say. <laughs> That one so i'm gonna choose this one let's delete the previous one i don't want to use that now let's go back to our code and let's make sure we're here and you're going to be using the play sound until done you want it to continue playing until done forever and ever so let's go ahead and click on that forever loop is basically an infinite loop it continues and continues running the code inside of it forever it won't stop unless you physically stop it by clicking on the browser or turning off your computer or clicking on the stop button and in scratch infinite loops are not an issue because they don't require so much memory but in big programs that are running like in airplanes and things like that infinite loops are things that we don't usually use. We try to limit that because they can cause a software to crash and you don't really want that happening in real life. But when it comes to gaming and things like that, sometimes people use them just to continue showing something over and over and over again or making a behavior happen over and over again. Leave comments below to let us know what you think. Uh, if you have any videos to share with us or any games, we would gladly like to look at them. Don't forget to like and follow us and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.